All right. We're going to finish up the State of the Collection videos soon. This is the bottom drawer. This is the last drawer of the fixed blades. There might be some stragglers around here somewhere, but this is a bunch of the good ones. Well, there's always been some good ones, but there's some actually some great ones here. So let's get into this. All right, so when we just jump into these, there's a couple here you might have already seen recently. I know there's one you've seen recently. We're just going to jump into them. I got this not too long ago during my cold steel going crazy. I'm still pretty convinced I'm going to get a nice sheath for that. This thing is awesome, folks. That is a great, great knife. So the only thing is that sheath is kind of tight. So that kind of gives me problems. You're going to hear me clunking these knives back into this drawer over here. All right, let's check out what's in here. Oh, yeah. I've never used this. I've had this for a long time. This is awesome. Check that out. Let me scoot that back a little bit so I can get there. It's an SE Cleaver. This thing is a beast. I bought this right around the time I bought that. El Chapo and the El Chapo ended up being my favorite kitchen knife and this one just sat in this box But this thing is really awesome. This thing feels more like a Take it out in the woods and beat stuff up knife Than the El Chapo does it all the El Chapo would, would obviously take that beat down great great knife there All right, let's keep going Oh, I forgot about this one you guys I was looking for this the other day the SE5 and that orange and green or orange and yellowish greenish what is that you know what I'm saying this thing is just a chunk of iron with a little bit of plastic on there to pretend like it's a knife this thing is uh, that's awesome get you one of these whoa get you a new foot if that falls on you all right keep going here that's a great knife fantastic blade now this one is really special this one is the first really cool gift that any of y'all gave me so one of you subs sent this to me I know who it is I'm just not gonna say his name he lives in Colorado that's all you get check that beast out that's awesome made in Thailand this is just <laughs> first night I got this I just took it out and started thwacking stuff with it just got a little bit of the thwack on here this thing is awesome very cool and just means a lot to me one of those knives that I'm going to be buried with or the kids are going to get and that probably be buried with for the afterlife, for the battles that will happen up yonder. Now here's one. This is the big controversial Jessica X. Remember that when that came out? This thing's awesome. This is the pre-snappy tip Jessica X before they changed everything over at Shrade. I managed to get one of these. Awesome, awesome blade. Super awesome. I just don't want to use it because, well, first, I don't have a lot of use for chopping, smashing things. And second, I don't want to use it because they don't make them like that anymore. And that's the truth. That's not just old people's talk this time. It's not like, you know what they don't make anymore? Frosted mini wheats. <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore. I can't button that. I'm too old. <laughs> too many frosted mini wheats. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, this is hella good knife. <laughs> this is the hella Norway. <laughs> oh, this is a really cool knife. <laughs> ah! This is a cool knife. Look at that thing. I forget what they call that. But man, this thing is just all leverage. This thing's just a great, great handle. That little short blade. Just a sweet bushcrafter right there. That would be awesome to take with you for your feather sticking or whatever you had to do like just uh, just felt like you could just push through steel with that all right keep going this beast oh this is a beast this is my first big beast here oh, look at that you guys if you don't have one of these you're not serious about fixed blades because this thing is a serious fixed blade look at that monster uh, and then i rubberize this down here give it a little more just a little more of that. Man, this thing. 
Very, very cool knife. This is awesome. What is this? The BK something. It's one of the BKs. The two. It's right there. Even I, without my glasses, can read the two. Should probably keep going. Where's my glasses? In case there's a smaller number that comes up that I can't get to. All right. All right, here's one. <clears throat> oh, I got this from Smoky Mountain. Smoky Mountain gave this to me. Oh, I love this knife. It is sharp as freak here, and it is sharp as freak here. This is a really cool knife. You just got to make sure you know that's where the jimping ends, and that's where the pain begins. But if you got that down, this is like that, that hella knife we just looked at. Just a lot of good leverage there, and just some good leverage there, too. That's a really cool knife. I forget that I have that. <clears throat> also forget about Smoky Mountain, to mention them enough. They do such awesome things for the channel. Smoky Mountain here. Smoky Mountain where? <laughs> I had some more Smoky Mountain. <laughs> my, my glasses are all gone. Do I want Smoky Mountain stick? Where's the other ones? Oh, no wonder they don't like me. All right, let's keep going here. But seriously, they do awesome things. Here's a, like an inexpensive knife here. I don't know where I got this one from. But check this thing out. This thing, this thing wants to rip your hand open if you're not careful. All right, here we go. Is that it? Yeah, that's going to rip me open. Oh, look at this thing. Just an inexpensive, like, machete-looking thing. Like a kukri machete with the excellent saw blade on that thing. I think I got this for a Christmas present. This thing is light and really, really, really wants to cut you with this sheath if you're not careful. So be careful with that sheath. Very cool. All right. Excellent, excellent. Let's keep going here. I know this one was a present. So he sent this to me. No, no, I bought this one. I bought this one to check it out up there at Smoky Mountain while I was there. That's what I did. Very cool knife. Needs to be sharpened if I remember correctly. It wasn't excellent on the brisket test, but in hand, this thing's a beast. This thing, man, this thing would do some damage. So, yeah, it's a Rough Rider. I got it up at Smoky Mountain. Somebody asked me to pick up one of the buoys from Rough Rider. And so I did, and that was the one. Really good deal. Really excellent. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I know what this is. This is... Yeah, this thing's... Man, I sharpened that nicely. This is that Condor. Condor. Bush monster. Bush bad... Not, no, I almost said the bad word. I almost said... I was trying... I was going to make Basher <laughs> with Smasher or something. <laughs> the Bush... What is this? The Condor Woodbuster. <laughs> Not the bush B word. <laughs> this thing's awesome, seriously. This is if you got if you're getting into like the chopping competitions and you need a practice knife, this one's awesome. That's a great one. Great, great knife. And this is great for the field. Oh, this one. The K bar. What is this? The rhino? Look at that thing. No, this is the something cooler than the rhino. It's the warthog or something like that. Pig rhino. What was it? This is the Warthog. This thing is amazing. Very cool knife. Yes. I think I got this for free. Didn't I get this for free? Yeah, something happened to this knife. It's not... It's like... There's like a little Lucy something in here that every once in a while will click. So I sent them and said, Hey, I'd like to return this and get one that doesn't have the click to it. And they said, No, just keep that one we don't have anymore. Enjoy the fruits of your labor so I did very cool knife love that knife oh you guys right here one of my favorite fixed blades of all time oh El Chete oh my, God. oh my gosh people seriously this is so awesome you need one of these. You don't even know you need one of these, and you need one of these. If you have any kind of fixed blades, you need one of these. Oh my gosh, El Chete. This thing is just just wants to mangle anything in its way. Freak. 
Yeah, El Chetty. Get you one of the El Chetty. Very awesome knife. Awesome, awesome knife. Very cool knife. All right, I'm going to go there. Now this one, this one I picked up a long, long time ago. Yeah, I sharpened the mess out of that thing. Look at that. This has some really hard steel that's hard to sharpen. It's a little Gerber. And you're talking about all kinds of handle and just a little... That's how short the blade came, actually. I didn't I didn't mangle that. That's. I mean, there's the sheath right there. That's just all burning. You know, just... I don't know. I think it's a hunting or a skinny knife or... I don't know what that is. But I got it. It was on sale in an academy that was going out of business. And I think to myself... That's one of those knives that, man, I just got that. I just got that this year, or, you know, it wasn't too long ago. This, I got this, oh, man, 25 years ago. Isn't that crazy? 25 years. That's insane. This knife is older than me than when I bought it. Wow. That's insane. That's crazy. That makes me feel old. You go bye-bye. I'm going to throw you in the No. That was a terrible moment. Oh, look at this thing. This is the Kershaw. Be careful getting it out of the case. Or, uh, uh. Oh, it's because <laughs> that's not the way it goes, you big dum dum. All right, check this out. Look at that. That's. Didn't we already look at this? Do I have two of these? No, look at that. Uh. Oh, oh, man, I just want something to chop into. I would go outside chop in the snow, but I went out there earlier. And I almost did the hippo dance from Fantasia. <laughs> so I'm staying inside where it's not slippery. <laughs> if you don't know what Fantasia is, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you'll have to go check it out. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, man, that's cool. I'm going to cut myself putting this back in the sheath. So that is really cool. All right. There you go. I didn't cut myself, but I banged to that camera nicely. There we go. Put you back this thing now if y'all watch guys talk knives a while back last year i mangled some stuff with this thing this thing is cool check that out you guys this marbles what do you call that like a chopper for what you're gonna pay for this what do we pay for this it's like 15 bucks or something 18 bucks something crazy this is just all about ugh. This thing will just mangle some bushes and whatnot. I think it mangled an avocado last time I was up there. So yeah, that thing is awesome. Very cool. That was really cool. That was a good day. Once again, thank you. Smoky Mountain for that day. All right, let's keep going here. All right, this is, I showed you this just not too long ago. This is that prototype knife that Birdshot sent me. Look at that thing. I couldn't. Oh, what's the guy's name? Help me down there. Oh, Mike. Um, I know his name. I, and it's not your fault, sir, for me not remembering. It's just my brain has been going sideways. Oh, not yours. That was a different friend of mine in the Army. It's something like that. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Here's a sharpening channel. Design knives, sharpens knives. Now look at this thing. I bought this a long time ago. If y'all have been around the channel for a while, you remember me getting this. This is fun. This is a little fun little axe. It's impossible to go. I think what happened was actually um, was when was it when I think I was getting stuff from AliExpress and they sent this to me. I think that's what it was. Yeah, this thing's really cool. Doesn't feel like you could do a lot of hard work because I think this is all composite stuff. I don't think that hammer goes all the way through. But still, man, this would do some damage. This is like a carrying a weapon if you're going down the street and you know, the idiots around you don't like to lock up their dogs. Yeah, I think that's what I'm talking about. No, not for the dogs, but for the idiots. You just go up to them like, hey, remember me? Thwack, thwack, whack, whack, thwack. It's done. And they lock up their dogs. Kind of like the, um, Christopher Walken and Suicide Kings. All right, keep going here. We got four left, five left. There's no smallest one yet. This one's awesome. 
the street scalpel in case you have to do street surgery on a hobo. Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Patient Dr. Hobo Finger. Dr. Hobo Finger to the OR. Yeah, this thing will do it. <laughs> this thing will be. I don't know why his name's Hobo Finger. Go away. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> There's no script. Oh, y'all remember this one? <laughs> This is, this is the good, the good, fucking knife. <laughs> the Facon. Such an awesome knife. This thing's awesome. Oh my gosh, this thing. Very cool knife. Oh, let me put that away. I don't think that's how it goes. No, nope. I'm going to step myself. All right, we get a couple more left. Like three more left. I think I can count. Yeah. Come over here, you. There are three. This, they're all very similar. They're not similar, but they come from the same maker. All from Tops. The last three are all Tops knives. Check this out. This is the one. This thing. Oh my gosh. The base camp parang. Look at that. Mm. That thing's amazing. Did I chop anything with this shit? Oh, I think I did. Did we make a sandwich with that or something? Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome, seriously, from all kinds of positions. You can even get here, up here, up here, back here. If you had a little lanyard, you might be able to even get back here, which you didn't need to. This is just all leverage and smashing and slicing ability there. Put that away. All right. Okay, two more left. Let's go for this one. This one is... Look at that. Max the Mini Axe. I don't think I've done any chopping with this. I think, I think we need to though. I think we need to just... This feels like I've smashed into a brisket with this. Do y'all remember if I took this to a brisket? This feels very familiar for being brisket look at that it's sharp on that edge too this is a cool knife cool blade get in there and get some intricate work done some intricate carving done get back here on this back end here and just start thwacking away i like that it feels feels awesome right there like a fighting axe too if you had to jab somebody in the face with that whack 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 that would open up some some serious Serious conversation. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can put this back. All right, I appreciate y'all's patience. I'm really trying to get through here. All right, now this last one. Very awesome. This took me forever to get. Long story, short. Midway has those clearance sales. And it used to be every week they would lower the price on the clearance if it didn't sell. I waited and waited and waited for this to drop and drop and it finally dropped to the crazy price of I don't remember what it was. I mean, it was crazy. This thing is insane. That's just all steel. Look at that. That's just all steel all the way through. And it's sharp on this end and it's sharp on that end. And it just wants, all it wants to do is just chop through and destroy stuff. Whether it's wood or your enemies. Either way, it wants to do both. Just awesome. Super. I'm going to leave that out for the final shot here. Super awesome. Thank you guys so much. I hope this isn't getting old. I'm having fun going through my stuff. I didn't count. I, if y'all did count, I'd appreciate it for everybody that's going to be guessing at the end. I guess we'll be guessing. I guess we just have to go through comments. I don't know. One of y'all is counting. I know one of y'all is. I hope y'all are. Let me know what you think. Which one of these do you want? Which one of those do you have? Which one of those have you had in hand? It's like, eh, not for me. Anything like that? I think that's it. I think the next next video I do is going to be like stragglers and loose stuff. And then I'll end it up with some of my nicer production stuff and some customs I have left over that y'all don't know. You haven't seen yet this year. Leave a comment down there. I'll talk to you later.